Hey everybody, welcome back to another video. Today I got a short one for everyone. I uh, was just getting ready to go fishing for tomorrow. I was able to get a lot more organized than it was in my previous walkthrough video. So I'll put a link in the description if you haven't seen that video before. Make sure to check that one out. Uh, I go through a lot more in depth of uh, this boat that I have and uh, what I like and don't like about it. So make sure to watch that one if you haven't already. And uh, this video is just going to be uh, going through how I organized the front deck of uh, my Triton TR-186. So here we go. So we'll start off with the rod locker. Uh, nothing too special here. I just got all my rods laying in here. Uh, I left, decided to leave this one in uh, because it just helps with them um, banging around so much. And uh, especially with spinning reels, I feel like I could easily break off a handle with them banging around with nothing to help restrain them. So I think I have 16 or so rods in there, I'm not sure. Next up is the uh, centered compartment. Uh, it's a lot more organized than it was last year, that's for sure. So I have eight uh, boxes sitting uh, vertically like this in there. They fit in super well into this little compartment down in here. And I have all of them labeled on the top like that. Alabama rig box on that side. And then just uh, uh, various cold water uh, box here. And then I have all my line and then I have a couple extra reels in this, this bag here. And then here I have all my tools and uh, the scale and like all the dye and uh, line conditioner and stuff like that. And then of course, gotta have the bump board in there. So I just kind of have it laying, laying in there a little bit. And now to the driver's side rod locker. I have all my plastics in this one and then some other various stuff. So I have, I 3D printed this uh, bracket for these call tags here, so that's super nice. It's gonna be a lot easier than digging through other stuff. And then I got a brand new net for this year. So that's gonna be super handy as well. Then I have my main uh, plastics in these boxes here, labeled on top, so it's super easy and quick. Crows, finesse worms, drop shots, swim baits, tube creatures, and senkos. And uh, these are kind of like my main favorite colors that I have in these boxes. Then, as you can see, I have a bunch of bags that are labeled with kind of my overflow of baits of plastics. So that way, I, if I'm just my bread and butter, it's super quick and easy. And then, if I need a more specialty color or color I don't use quite as often, I'll, I'll still have it in uh, my extra bags alongside. But it just makes it a lot faster for m most times for me because I, I like to throw my favorite colors most of the time, so it's just a lot faster for me to do that. Then I also have my bag, way bag, and then the throwable, which you need. And then also, I got this Yolo Tech power stick, so that'll be super nice for filming this year. And of course, the pan optics, probably can't see it too well, but I use the drill battery hookup, so it's easy to just plug that, plug the drill battery in and do it. So I should be a lot more organized this year, and that's, I think, really going to help me out with tournaments, just to be a little bit more efficient on the water and more comfortable might not get spun out quite as much if I can't find a bait. So that's why I really like to be uh, organized, especially during tournaments. Thanks again for watching, and uh, we'll see you in the next video.